Our inherent scenarios describe a positive vision on how European societies could look like if the triple win had been accomplished. So um, the scenarios are a tool to support um, strategic planning and decision-making processes. Um, the scenarios have these narratives of what a future could potentially look like and with this allow for the creation and the promotion of developments that um, could get us there to that scenario. We develop the future scenarios in six steps. First of all, um, we set the framework, so we decided that the scenarios would be EU-focused. For the year 2040, they would cover the inherent lifestyle areas, would um, accomplish the triple win, and also that it would be four different scenarios. As a second step then, we identified the drivers behind the scenarios, that means we analyzed trends uh, with the help of a horizon scanning approach. As a third step then, we ranked those trends by importance and we did this um, by inviting 30 experts from all over Europe um, to a workshop and to work with these trends. As a fourth step, um, we selected the two axes that would divide these four scenarios like this um, in, uh, and they were driving sectors and social dynamics. As a fifth step then, uh, we developed the narratives for the scenarios and finally uh, we also created storylines of individual citizens living in these scenarios. After creating the scenarios, we conducted focus groups in five countries in Europe, in Spain, in the UK, the Czech Republic, in Macedonia and in Germany. In these focus groups, we wanted to understand from normal citizens how they felt about the scenarios, what they liked about it and what they disliked about it. Um, we received a lot of different comments and feedbacks, but what, um, what was very strong um, from the feedback was that um, the first scenario, um, the one My Life Between Realities, was the most controversial uh, in all countries. Um, in this scenario, we described a future which was um, very much focused on digitalization and technology. And um, while, while people on the one hand valued um, that scenario for its convenience, they were also afraid of losing personal touch and uh, using, losing humanity in this. Um, on the other hand, uh, the scenario one for all and all for one um, which described a very local life and a focus um, on the community um, was seen as most appealing by many of the citizens. Here, the strong focus on social and family cohesion was valued very positively. 